What up? Welcome back to Final Fantasy IX Randomizer. We are playing as Steiner. We just did the sword battle between Blank and Zidane. Let's see what what, Zid, uh, what Steiner has. Okay, he has two <laughs> two spells of mini, and he has auto life. Guardian Mog. Okay, HP plus twenty percent. I can dig that. Let's see what that does. Boom. I like it. What are these dicks doing? Yeah, that's right. Get moving. So right now we have to go and find all the knights of Pluto and tell them to... Oh, this is actually good info. What is this? Eh, whatever. We have to go find them and tell them to get searching for the princess because they're just slacking off. I gotta say, I don't like uh, Steiner's randomize uh, on his sword. What are you guys doing? I don't like the the spells he has. Mini, and he's got Guardian Mog. This is gonna be weird. At least, I don't know. Not what you want. Vivi's gonna end up getting Clem, Clem Hazard. <laughs> now, I don't remember if there's a dude chilling over here. Probably not. Yeah, he's staring against the wall. Being useless. There's, these two are trying to go on a date. in here, I swear. Nope, just kidding. You get a lot of these areas confusing, you know, confused because some of them look similar. The one area I was thinking of is actually in a place called Burmesia. And it's that same kind of room with the staircase going up. That guy's fucked. But before he knows it, we're going to find her. There she is, Zidane chasing her down. It seems like they have to go kind of a far way to get back to the Prima Vista. I always like this cutscene how she falls back and he's like, oh shit! <laughs> well, I think that would have made these FMVs better if they had a little bit of voice dialogue going for, his, for Steiner's scream and just certain things. But there was limitations back then, I think, you know. He seems so determined right there. Only the, in the crash. Crash and burn. That accurately describes his his character right there. Somehow they're back on the ship, Prima Vista. Got the band plan. Let's move. And we got our uh, theater mistress lady, Ruby, here. She's got a very southern accent. Back in the, the first room, Garnet's going to give us the big reveal. I am actually Princess Garnet.
It's like he probably he already knows like your disguise wasn't that clever. I shall do my best to kidnap you. Here comes Senna in. He's all dirty. We got Aldebert Steiner jumping in. Some I like, how did he even get here? Like from where he was. He was he was screwed. We got blank in disguise. I'm gonna head down this secret escape hatch. And I believe, I'm pretty sure this is blank. It's about to screw Steiner's day again. <laughs> I always love that. <laughs> It's so funny. It's gotta be blank. Who else would it be? We have no time for idle banter. Okay, now we can move again. I don't remember if there's something in this room. You can like turn, you can turn this, this uh, lever here and it opens up a path. Yeah, okay, I see the chest there. All right, can I get to it right here? No, I maybe I can go down. And under here, yep, there we go. All for a phoenix down. I've got time for that. Like a hundred gil in the store. Aha. Where is there even a um a pole like that to slide down? You can just leave the princess to us. All right, so we have our first battle with Steiner of many, actually. Oh, I think he can get something from him. Leather hat. Still, okay, there. That's what we need. We need to see what's on that. Now we can just go to go ham on him. What? Oh my god, Cinna with the four damage. He's useless. I hope he just slash him, Steiner. Okay, 30. His minimum damage just must be so low. Oh, see ya. Don't even care. There we go. It's Agla time. He hates Oglops. <laughs> I'll do my best. We're going to get to Evil Forest in this episode. King Leo doing a scene with Marcus. I don't know what his name is. Cornelius or some something. If that's I don't know if that's the princess's name. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna take him out. 
and doesn't want him dating his daughter. Little do they know we're about to come intrude on their scene. Oh, that's that's the princess's character name is Cornelia. Okay, Marcus. Okay, it's his real name, so that's that's cool. So now they're gonna do their best to hit, improvise the rest of the play. But if you know the play and you're in the audience, you're gonna probably want your money back. guys are wimps. Yeah, so this is what I mean by this intro being kind of ridiculously long. I mean, we're in, we're in part three and we're still not even playing. I mean, besides from just moving here and there a little bit, mostly just mashing X. Why did she have to die? Oh, Queenie. Like you have any emotions like that. I don't buy it. You'll see what she turns into. It's weird. Now they're like... They're by the part where that sword fight happened. Enter Vivi. Oh, we get to see some of his magic that he doesn't have. <laughs> the jig is up. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> Let's ditch Sir Rust a lot. I should have named him that. I got Steiner round two. And then we'll have one more round of Steiner battle after this. All right, still can't use any summons or anything. Ooh, I can see what... Okay, what does she have? Luna. Sark to all targets. And Shell. White magic. Oh, what? Knight? Oh, this is... This kind of sucks. Black magic. Oh, we know what he has. Ah, oh, man. I'm in the wrong guys. Yep. See you later, Weimar. Alright. Take him down. It's funny that Garnet doesn't have any uh, Eidolons. So, so far we're gonna be stuck to using uh, potions. Which is not, that's not really good. <laughs> you get, you get kind of spoiled when you start using that, um, Cure with R1 and you can heal everybody. So that's going to be a little tricky. So we're about to... We're about to take off. And make our way to Lindblom. 
in theory. But the queen, she has ideas otherwise. I mean, does she just attack because she knows Garnett's on there? Or is she just mad that the show's not done? Oh yeah, she probably saw her. It, this kind of sucks that they just destroy their freaking town. I gotta wonder why they didn't just go inside. You know, they're all hanging out on the on the stage still. We got a bam. We got a bam fight. Yeah, you don't really have to fight it. it just, just it scares uh, Steiner. Good old bam. Thing. All we gotta do is get through this battle and another cutscene will be an evil forest. Hey look behind you. He is not he's not, he's so convinced that we're screwing with him. Garnet wants to come with us. He's still adamant about killing every one of us. I wonder if he actually attacks Garnet. I don't think he does. It's a bam. Just mash away. That's all you gotta do. Bam even came from. I mean, it must have came from her. But somehow, we make it out of that. Ship is screwed. No way that thing's going to Lindblom. Lindblom is the town, or the city rather, where all those guys are based out of. So they operate in the theater district. They have like a little hideout, and they're called they're called Tantalus. They're they're basically a gang of thieves who operate a semi-legitimate like theater company. So they kind of use that as a front to do like their crime and stuff. But what's interesting is that um, Sid who runs Lindblom, actually hired them to kidnap the princess, which we don't know about yet. This is just so plot heavy, these three, first three episodes. We're gonna, we're gonna get into the game soon. We're gonna get all the different randomized skills. I'm pumped. So yeah, we didn't, we didn't make it very far. We crashed, and somehow, somehow everyone survives, luckily enough. Zorn, Thorn, come do my bidding. So now they're going to be chasing us, try to find Garnet.
while we're stuck in Evil Forest. Here's an example of one animated uh, FMV, like mixed with the character. And it looks a little bit laggy. It looks strange. There's a couple other ones, but Final Fantasy VIII did that quite a bit. Okay, so the the Prima, Vi Prima Vista is wasted. All right, we got to save Mogul. Sinna was thrown out of the ship like Zidane was. <laughs> He's just tossing them. So they think she's dead. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready for control of my guy. Let's go. No, not the worst system in the game. Uh, fine. Got to do ATEs. There's a bunch of mandatory ones, which sucks. Basically, they just give you cutscenes that are occurring at the same time. I don't even know why they even make it, make you press it, just like cut to it. All right, we're back. We got control. Magnet. Oh, come on. Which, where's the guy? I don't know. We got our guy back. Hmm. We're going to end it off here. 21 minutes. It's a good length. Um, I'll save. And in the next episode, we're going into Evil Forest. We're going to get this game really, really started here. Thanks for watching.